a great event. All these kids playing behind me, drawing on the street, art in the street instead of cars. What a vision. This work is about joy, it's about health, it's about safety, um, and it's also about coming back together after a very long period of being apart. So when we do projects like this, where we close streets to cars and open them to people, we are also thinking about things like the air that our students breathe. We started a dialogue in 2017 with our kindergartners, our parents in 2018 had plans on the table by 2019, and by 2020 we had secured two colors of money such that implementation will begin in 2022 and final implementation in 2025. This day is very important to us because we get to be in community, to walk to school, to experience this pop-up event that demonstrates the vision of what schools can look like when we walk to school safely, enjoying in community. Me encanta el caminar el, a la escuela porque este, creo que los niños como que se sienten más despejados. Eh, hubo muchas actividades, como les digo, estuvo muy organizado. Pudimos ir compartiendo entre los padres qué es lo que nos gustó de ver que no había carros, no había mucho tráfico al llegar a la escuela. Ahora es algo, fue algo fantástico, una muy buena idea. The school street, it's, it's really a pilot. The goal here is to close off a street for a limited period of time. And what that does is it allows for kids to sort of take over the street now. It's less of a hectic environment. There's no cars on the street, so it can represent uh, almost a community park on the street. Once they go to school, they're, they're happier. They're less stressed, they're ready to learn. It's really a celebration of what streets can become for children. The Valet was set up uh, to support Walk to School Day by organizing the traffic, both the school generated traffic with uh, caregivers who were dropping off their students, but also the pass through traffic. What this school experiences is a lot of disorganized drop off. This valet organizes the street into three lanes. There's the valet lane, which um, caregivers drive up with their students and at the top of the line the students um, exit from the car and go into the school. Parking. So we've got loading on the school side, through travel in the middle and short-term parking on the left side. We learned some lessons associated with the COVID protocol to, that we needed more staff to make sure that um, parents were able to show their daily pass for their children. I think we might have seen that the day was a little bit slower to get um, off. I think the Families are more used to being able to just let their students go and that's okay for us because the benefit of having a slower and more organized arrival and dismissal period is that the students arrive stress-free, they arrive ready to learn, they're safe, the cars are slower and that's what we're looking for in school zones across the city. So for Walk to School Day, um, we did have parent concern with regards to how the street was going to be affected. But I think talking to them, um, we had various town halls and meetings with them. I think they were a little more um, in it with us. Part of Walk to School Day was just the excitement. I think having our students here and participating and haven't really had the chance to be out and about. So I think it was our school's opportunity to do that. I saw the excitement with parents. Um, so I was excited to see all of it. it was, I think it, it turned out really great. Wow.